the gospel of life, incorruption, immortality, and sonship with the bondservant of Christ, John Anosike. There are two uh, major doctrines in the scriptures that we have overlooked over the years as ministers and as you know Christians all across the world or as believers. I, I, I present you the doctrine of foolishness. The doctrine of what? Foolishness. It's important because the Bible says the word of God is profitable for doctrine. The word foolishness was used a lot in the scriptures. And of course, even uh, Apostle Paul uh, made a very powerful comment. He said, who have bewitched you, all oh, you foolish Galatians. That sounds a little bit rude, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, he's very rude. He's very arrogant. He's unchrist like Jesus is very gentle. He wouldn't call people foolish. But he did. I said again, he did. Oh, come on, help me now. Jesus did. Apostle Paul did. In fact, as a matter of fact, Jesus gave a parable of the kingdom of God. And then he spoke about ten virgins. And he says, five of them were foolish. Here we go. And five were wise. So foolishness ought to be a doctrine. Oh, help me now. <laughs> Hallelujah. When you find a foolish brother, cut him off. You don't have to see this. I, I, I feel for you. I feel the Holy Ghost is going to help you. No, Holy Spirit doesn't help foolishness. Because foolishness is a choice. Come on, foolishness is a You see, foolishness is a disposition of the mind. It's a choice. The doctrine of foolishness is a good companion, a good friend with the second doctrine that has not been majored on, which is the doctrine of separation. The five foolish we are separated from the five wise. Help me right now. You see, something is important here. The Bible says the wise knew that at this point in time, they cannot walk alongside with the foolishness of the five virgins. Oh, come on. I, I, the, the wisdom of the end time requires that you don't walk alongside with the foolishness of the foolish why <laughs> foolish virgins <laughs> hallelujah you don't don't let any devil contaminate your spirit don't let anybody manipulate your spirit. You got to understand that. Shut that mouth by walking out of that mouth. The wisdom of separation is needed in these last days. You know what it means to separate yourself? It means to walk alone and walk with God. When you come to that point where you say, I'm going to walk in that narrow way. I'm going to walk in that way alone with Jesus, alone with consecration, alone with holiness, alone with rejection. Reject, yes, rejection. You must come to a point where you are willing to accept rejection. Rejection is a blessing. Hallelujah. 
Rejection is a blessing. It's, 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 it's not a curse. Jesus was rejected. He was oppressed. He was hated. He was lied against. They were jealous of him. They tried to manipulate him in many ways, but he stood strong against all odds. My role model is Jesus. And I'm a little Jesus coming up. You're a little Jesus coming up. And for you to be perfected in the very image of Jesus, then you should be willing to go through that all that he went through. Jesus had walked the way and he left us with the footprints of his exploits, but not exploits alone, of his sufferings. See that? Not just his sufferings, of his power. Oh, not just his power. He left also the footprints of his isolations. So today, you happen to step into the footprints of power and you move in power. The next day, you happen to, you think that the next footprint was power. The moment you land there, boom, 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 you find yourself in 40 days dry fasting. <laughs> Hallelujah! So that's why you can't predict the man of the spirit. Because the spirit will lead you to discovering the footprints that Jesus left on earth. So there was a time he wrought a miracle. A few minutes later, he was in the mountains praying all night. A man that works with God must come to a place of isolation, a place of loneliness. You see, you see, this place of loneliness does not imply that you cannot fit in or you cannot have friends or people don't want to be friends with you. But because of the values of these people, do not complement with who you are. Do not support the future that you anticipate of God. Their influences do not in any way encourage, facilitate, catalyst where, where you're going. Then you unburden yourself. Cut them off. That's the wisdom of the last days. Cut off. We have a very short time on earth. So shut up. Shut things, shut any frequency that does not facilitate spiritual growth in your life. The Bible says, separate from them, depart from them, walk away from these people. Don't, don't keep company of fools. Don't. Because they're going to drain your spirit. The target of foolish virgins was to weaken the oil by siphoning the oil of the wise. Is somebody hearing me now? It's important that you, you get that in your spirit. Foolish virgins can dry up your oil. I'm, listen, foolish virgins are looking for your oil. Oh, my inner free toast. I'm telling you, fool, foolish virgins are looking for your oil. If you keep foolish virgins in your life and around you, they're going to do something. They are anointed. Oh, come on. The little oil that they have in their vessel is anointed to dry up your oil. It's not oil against oil. In this last days, there's going to be oil, genuine oil. 
but one is aimed at ensuring that your own oil that you worked hard for is siphoned. And if you are not wise, you will fall for it. In the name of, oh, Jesus wants us to share all things. Help those that are weak. <laughs> Sir, if you know the time we live in, you will know that this is not time to help anyone. Sorry to say that. It sounds tough. Uh -uh. The time is gone. In trying to help people, you're going to fall into the deep, into the depth. You, you're going to fall into sin. You will fall into compromise. You will fall into manipulations. You will fall into the cunning of man. Send them to, to the Holy Ghost to help them. <laughs> I know it's tough. But you can hear my heart. Can you hear my heart? Because you lose you trying to help somebody else. If we truly want to um, understand the mysteries that are locked up in the parable of the of the ten virgins, then we, we, we must establish the two foundations that are required. First is we must understand what it means to, to identify the foolish virgins in us, I mean around us, and, and, and enforce the doctrine of separation. Because when you identify foolishness, you enforce the next doctrine called separation separation that's my secret special announcement from the office of the bond servant of christ john anosike please beware of fake accounts on social media be it facebook YouTube, and all others impersonating the man of God, asking for funds from people. Please note, Pastor John does not have any orphanage in Nigeria or in any country, nor does he ask anyone to donate to any orphanage. Also note that the only official page of the man of God, Pastor John Anosike, is the one with over 451,000 followers. Our YouTube channel also has over 155,000 subscribers. Note that the man of God does not chat, send friend requests, nor inbox people on social media, be it messenger or WhatsApp. Therefore, anyone doing such is false and should be treated as such. This is a notice that you are informed and sensitized to be alert and vigilant. Stay connected and keep subscribing to the teachings of the bond servant of Christ, John Anosike. Due to malicious and fraudulent activities, please note that these are the only official two accounts of the ministry. For EFT or Bank Transfer, Bank, First National Bank, FNB, Account Name, New World Faith Ministries, Account Number, 6226048, Branch, Woodstock, Branch Code, 250655, Swift Code, FIRNZA, JJ Building Project Banking Details City of Sons Bank First National Bank FNB Account Name New World Faith Ministries Account Number 623-569-03578 Branch Code 250655 Branch Woodstock Swift Code FIRNZA JJ To give online Kindly visit our website and use the following link www.spiritrevelationchurch.org forward slash give. Here you can give via PayFast for those that are in Southern Africa and PayPal for international donations. Good news for all those living in West Africa. For your giving and donations, here are the only official and approved banking details. Name Ikechuku. John Anosike, account number 
1170020753 bank zenith bank please note that the following is our official and only paypal email for the ministry donations at spiritrevelationchurch.org kindly report any suspicious activities to our emergency line +27634235895 or email info at spiritrevelationchurch.org.